all welcome to our channel so this is a simple switching regulator circuit that you see here LT8642 from analog devices so while designing this power supply uh, is uh, like a straightforward thing where uh, we do check the parameters required whether it be uh, load requirements or <coughs> the uh, current uh, requirements the switching frequencies um, so uh, and apart from all this for these switching regulators efficiency is very very important right so if you see power saving or consuming as less power as possible is very very important criteria in embedded designs so considering that criteria for a switching regulator understanding the efficiency is very very important if you put down the simple formula of efficiency it is nothing but output power by input power that means if the output power and input power are same the efficiency is 100 percent as long as the output power deviates from input power that means goes low the efficiency uh, reduces so there are switching regulators available in the market where you can go with, uh, with uh, a very good efficiencies when we say very good efficiency any efficiency that is above 90 percent for a given requirements can be said uh, a good efficiency okay so for battery powered applications the requirement of the bar is much higher so let us consider 95 percent as the bar so while talking about all this uh, calculating the efficiency uh, based on input and output requirements um, is a very very important calculation so lt spice provides such kind of uh, option where you can display efficiency directly so before going to that let us see what is the efficiency of lt8642 as per the um, data sheet so if you see the data sheet of uh, lt86 just directly go to the load current versus efficiency um, so for a given load current so this particular lt8642 is a 18 volt uh, up to 18 volt input 10 amp step down switcher so a very wide uh, input range it has where it starts from 2.8 to 18 volts and uh, <coughs> you can see low dropout uh, with uh, 50 millivolts at uh, 1 amp so uh, this is a very wide range efficient uh, switching regulator so if you see this efficiency graph of this particular data sheet you can see here for a given load current this is the efficiency that is seen and then if you see the um, graphs there are three different graphs based on the inductor so that means uh, based on the switching frequency the efficiency is varying here so if you consider this scenario um, example let us assume at 2 amps so you can see here it's going around uh, 92 percent it can be much higher as well um, if uh, <clears throat> you can achieve uh, you can use idle components with a very good uh, um, design so but uh, considering the graphs this is what we are seeing so now let us go to the lt spice uh, uh, model of lt4682 and we have built this circuit around this and then this uh, is taken based on uh, You can see here there's an application circuit that is provided so this circuit is based on this particular one where we have replicated the exact circuit which is uh, 1 amp 10 volts output 10 amps output so this 10 amps depends on load based on the load you have the uh, current is calculated like if we go to LD spice we see that uh, the load is 
selected as one ohm so that means one volt over one ohm which is one amp so for a given five volts the output is one volt and the load current is one amp so now let us see what is the efficiency so for that we have to just uh, run the simulation let us see whether uh, we are able to achieve uh, the output of one volt first or not if you see here this is how um, the, the output is approximately one volt and then if you go to view and then efficiency report show the efficiency you can see here oh oh the efficiency is zero percent come on that's not the case right so uh, what's the problem here so basically while performing the efficiency calculation for uh, these we have to include this resistor r5 as uh, r load and not uh, r5 so this should be r load okay now let us try to rerun this again So the output is the same you can see here now the efficiency is calculated so for this regulator with these specifications the output um, is 96.8 percent so <coughs> uh, a very simple uh, thing right uh, so here you can observe one thing so the input is taken as 3.3 this is because we have given the bias as 3.3 so there is one requirement for this regulator you have to check always the bias input that is provided should be equal to or greater than wheel so um, that's why this is considered as 3.3 volt but the actual input is 5 volts so while performing check the data sheet and keep in mind uh, that input uh, should be 5 volts so if you consider 5 volts the efficiency uh, could go a uh, little lower as well so <clears throat> that's how uh, you can display the efficiency and this is like a, a first cut information for any designer to understand uh, um, the efficiency uh, and uh, go ahead with the design uh, confidently if you have already calculated efficiency in your designs and uh, try to put down uh, um, information um, or you might have faced some other issues with respect to the calculation please post your comments if you have any questions on this video um, please post here um, we will uh, try to provide information thanks for watching for this video uh, please like and subscribe our channel thank you